Which is better for you, the Rode VideoMic Go or the Audio-Technica AT2020 USB Plus? Welcome everybody back to another video. So today guys, we are comparing the Rode VideoMic Go and the Audio-Technica AT2020 USB Plus. So the reason that I'm motioning upwards is because the Rode VideoMic Go is my main microphone when I'm shooting videos. At least it was, and it's mounted to the top of my camera. Now I have the Audio-Technica AT2020 USB Plus about a foot above the camera and the microphone, so I have two microphones directly in front but above me. So obviously you guys can also see the shadows are from my lights, and I have a big, big setup going on right now, but I wanted to compare the Rode VideoMic Go with the Audio-Technica microphone that I've owned for a while now and I just don't use anymore. But I figured, let's give it a shot. Let's see how good it is for production of this quality. So, I like the Rode VideoMic Go for a lot of reasons. It's small, it's compact, it's easy to use, it's plug and play, no batteries, nothing required, no phantom power, nothing. Same with the Audio-Technica. The problem is though, it's not a mobile microphone. You're not going to be taking the Audio-Technica AT2020 USB Plus. First of all, the name by itself kills it. But you're not going to be taking that thing with you everywhere, especially if you're vlogging. You're not going to be holding up a, a camera and then also holding up the microphone to talk into it while you're vlogging. There's no point. That's why a lot of vloggers have the shoe mount or whatever you want to call it, microphones as I do. However, I'm trying to increase my studio quality. So this is my studio. This is my work environment. This is where I make all my videos and this is where I produce everything. So I figure why not have a microphone to go along with it of studio quality. So guys, up until this point, you've been hearing all the audio from the Rode VideoMic Go. Let's switch on over to the Audio-Technica and see how it sounds. So this is actually how the Audio-Technica sounds. My voice is not projecting at it, it's projecting below it. You guys can probably tell that the audio is kind of echoey. Yes, you're in my room, I don't have any padding on the walls, I have carpet on the ground, but that's about it. So the sound dampening is not really there. So you guys are gonna kinda hear the echoes, and I hate it. I wish that I could cover my walls in a carpet or a soundproof material that would just soak up the noise and keep it insulated and make it sound crispy and nice. But for right now, because I can't afford that and I don't have it, you guys gotta deal with the echoey kind of sounding noise. And I've already tested out the mic and I love the way it sounds. It's just the echo is kind of killing me. But if you guys can work with it and you guys can live with it, I can live with it. I love the production quality of the microphone. I love the way it sounds. I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. It's a very, very good build. And that brings me to my next point, build quality. So the Rode VideoMic Go doesn't have the greatest build quality. It's plastic, it's cheap, it's small. It's not the greatest build quality. So the Audio-Technica is a complete metal build it has a metal mesh grill and it's completely solid. You can bash that thing against the wall, or at least it feels like you can. And I'd be willing to bet that if I did throw it against the wall or something, it probably wouldn't break. It would be a very, very solid microphone. Now, it is a heavy microphone. You have to be aware of that. So if you're gonna be bringing it anywhere, it's basically a brick of a microphone you're bringing with you anywhere. It's heavy. And if you're gonna also be bringing it, you gotta bring something with it, a stand, a cord, and a shock mount. All three of those things. That's not even including the pop filter. I'm using a pop filter right now, but it doesn't make much of a difference when I'm this far away from the microphone. So guys, now let's read off a few specs for each microphone and see which one seems better on paper. So the Rode VideoMic Go has a directional pickup pattern, which is mostly in front, but it'll pick up slightly to the sides. However, the Audio-Technica AT2020 USB Plus has a cardioid pickup pattern, which is going to be more circular. However, you're not gonna get any sound picked up from behind. It's going to sound completely muffled and tinny. You'd prefer to be at least to the sides, if not preferably in front. And it's much better for both microphones if you're in front. I'm sitting in front of both microphones rather than being to the side. I'm not gonna test out the side. If you guys wanna go to your local guitar center and test it out, you easily can, but trust me guys, it's not gonna sound great on either microphone. The frequency range for the Rode VideoMic Go is 100 hertz to 16 kilohertz. 
not a huge range. For the Audio-Technica AT2020, it's going to have a frequency range of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, much wider range, at least another 4,000 kilohertz, or 4,000 hertz, I should say, of frequency range, which is very, very large. So, the Rode VideoMic Go has a 3.5mm headphone jack output, which is what you're going to be plugging into the camera, your phone, a computer, or whatever it is you're going to be recording your audio on. It has a 3.5mm headphone jack. However, the Audio-Technica AT2020 has a USB type connector. So, for the most part, you're never going to connect it to your camera. You're never going to connect it to your phone because your phone does not have a USB type like three connectors port. And it also has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which you can listen to your audio back. So if you're going to be speaking into the Audio-Technica AT2020, you can easily listen to yourself as you speak, which is very good for singers to hear themselves singing. However, guys, don't worry, you're not going to get any singing tests in this video. I cannot sing for my life, so don't even worry, it wouldn't sound good on this setup anyway. So guys, overall, what do you think? Which microphone sounds better? The Audio-Technica AT2020 USB Plus or the Rode VideoMic Go? I really love them both, but personally for me, it depends on the situation, and I believe it's going to be based on that for you guys as well. If you're going to go out in the field, if you're going to go out exploring, you want to do vlogging, the Rode VideoMic Go is obviously going to be your best bet. There's no doubt about it. However, guys, if you're in a studio like I am, you're going to probably want to use the Audio-Technica AT2020 USB+. Plus. I'm going to leave a link to Amazon for both of these right now. If you guys want to go check them out, it's in the description. They're both really, really good microphones if you want to use them. They're very good for basically every use, but obviously they're situational. They can work in every situation, but it's not optimal. You obviously want to use one microphone for one situation and one for another. So, thank you guys all so much for watching. It's been Mikey, guys. Peace.